Charles Mansell. I'm from Spring Lake, New Jersey. And here right now, I am a surfboard shaper. I got into surfing in just about kindergarten, maybe a little bit after that. I was a avid swimmer, bodyboarder, and then I then got into the hard board surfing, I guess you'd call it fiberglass surfing. Um, from there, it became a repair kind of osmosis thing where it was just small, small work of repairing my own personal boards, friends' boards, um, being around the boards a lot, and then conversely, slowly shaping them. And then in those first pieces and parts, I was more of a board builder, you'd call it, where you did everything from start to finish. So you shaped it, you glassed it, you sanded it, you did the whole kit and caboodle, so to speak. Uh, I started in probably 99, 2000 as like a ding kid. I got my first blank and shaping base set up in my parents' garage in 2003, 2004. I think that was the beginning of it. So, um, Just making a surfboard, you know, and I don't really, I don't think it's anything crazy or, or overwrought. I think it's just another simple act as a human is just catching a wave and helping a friend and, and doing my part. And I guess in surfing, that's that's the beauty of the, the sport and the life of surfing is it's, it should be as simple as you can. So um, to me, I guess shaping is just an, uh, an auxiliary piece of the surfing life, you know, whether it's going to the beach, hanging with friends, get to make a board, and then I go back to my family and that's it. I'm realistic in my goals, you know, I, I like to just service the local community and do the best I can as who I am and I think that comes back to just being a surfer, so just continuing to surf. Surf as much as I can, and that's it. Surf to live, live to surf.